What's going ladies and gentlemen, my name is Akula Espresso and welcome back to another video here today on the channel Continuing the Zombies Chronicles coverage here up on the channel and following suit to yesterday's video You guys absolutely killed that so I want to firstly thank you guys for the support on the five things that changed from Moon. This one will be taking a look at five things that changed from the original Origins in Black Ops 2 compared to now within Zombies Chronicles remastered and remade for the current generation consoles. What differences we can see up until this point in the Black Ops 3 version. So once again, a little bit of backstory for this. Zombies YouTubers were flown out to LA to capture footage of Zombies Chronicles and today the footage that was debuted was Origins. I once again, though asked many times on Twitter, did not attend this event so I can only go by information relayed to the community by them and additionally I can't really show too much imagery because I wasn't out there to sign NDAs for the usage and redistribution of this footage so a lot of it might just be verbal or external links maybe I'll throw an image up on screen here and there but I'm not entirely sure just yet but all that said once again thank you for the support on yesterday's video hopefully you guys enjoyed this one and let's just jump into our five changes from Black Ops 2 to Black Ops 3. First things first, up on the list, there's a new HUD in Black Ops 3's version of Origins that has a little bit more detail, a little bit more intricacies added in within it, but for the most part, a lot of it does look similar, but the one thing that you will definitely notice with the HUD is these staves. When you go and pick up each part, it's not denoted by simple dashes indicating that you have one of the parts needed for it. It actually builds a staff, essentially, in the icon, so it gives the front, middle, and rear icons for this, and whenever you collect each piece, it will highlight that certain area of the staff that you have and basically just give a more three-dimensional representation of what you will be building and what you've already attained. Personally, I'm a fan of this. I think it just looks a lot better. It looks a lot more complete. While it wasn't necessarily a necessary change, it is something that just for aesthetics, it looks a lot better. Number two here up on this list is actually during the teleportation to and from the crazy place within Origins. This is something that it ended up being changed around a little bit and it's now a new teleporting screen. It doesn't fall in line with Black Ops 3's teleportation that we've seen in, say, Shadows of Evil, but it is a brand new iteration and representation of transportation and teleportation into each of these realms. Now, initially, the actual orchestration and build of the teleporter is slightly different, but once again, it's not anything too major here with it, but it is an alteration from Black Ops 2 to Black Ops 3. So I found this to be, once again, a very interesting little change because I'm a huge fan of the design elements of the game. I like how they look, and seeing these now represented in a different manner is just something intriguing to me. So number three up on this list actually deals with what a lot of people might think is a new Easter egg within Origins. Of course, we have all of the original stuff from all these maps, including the Easter eggs that we get to do, all the main quests and things like that. But whether it's a glitch, whether it was changed purposefully and for a reason or changed purposely and without a reason, the Staff of Ice is no longer called the Staff of Ice, though in-game quotes will denote it as otherwise, it's labeled on your HUD as the Staff of Water. Now, of course, this might be subject to change by the time this goes and is released to the general public this coming week, next Tuesday. That is something that might change, but as of right now, it's not listed as the Staff of Ice. It's listed as a Staff of Water, which is once again not explained and rather intriguing, I think. So as Noah put it, there's going to be a huge hunt for whether this is an Easter egg or just a wild goose chase or wild duck if we want to put it in the terms of Monty, but all jokes and things aside, number four here up on this list deals with the wall buys and more specifically one of the dug up weapons that you can find here with it. It's one specific wall buy that has changed around and has been clearly denoted as such, that dealing with the Ballista Sniper. That was one of those ones where it's kind of iconic for digging it up in Origins, it's one of the wall buy weapons, and it was one of those ones that you just really hated coming across in terms of if you used your shovel to dig it up, but that has actually been replaced in the Black Ops 3 version of Origins with the Shiva. So while it has been replaced from a sniper to an assault rifle, it's really just still continuing the trend of one useless rifle to another. So that's something that has been changed around in Black Ops 3 and something that after rounds, say four or five, is going to be completely useless to you. But you never know. Maybe you need the weapon. Maybe you need to dig it up for some reason and it's there for you to save your skin at that point. So the Ballista is being replaced both in wall buys and diggable weapons with the Shiva. Now the fifth and final change here that I want to mention actually deals a little bit with the Easter egg and that really comes down to the fact of the airstrike grenades that you get here with this. Instead of the two that you got in Black Ops 2, you actually now get three for Black Ops 3. Whether that was an intentional design change where maybe the design team thought that you needed three instead of two, whatever the reasoning may be, you actually now have an extra one compared to the Black Ops 2 counterpart. So that's something that 
do it that way you will, it certainly will help if you're going for the Easter egg in Origins, but like I said, three instead of two, always nice to have that extra one here with it. But that's gonna round out the fifth and final change here of these five changes within Black Ops 3's Origins, since Black Ops 2's Origins a couple of years back. So hopefully you guys enjoy this episode. You guys killed yesterday's Moon 5 things. So I think we might try and do five changes for each map if you guys so wanna see it like that. Let me know down in the comments if you guys would like to see these continue for the rest of the Zombies maps that are debuted each day. We'll do one each day in accordance with whatever gameplay goes live show showcasing one of the newer remasters of the maps that we've seen thus far in Call of Duty. We'll continue doing the five changes from whatever version they were initially to now Black Ops 3, if we can five, five things. So if you guys wanted to see those, let me know down in the comments, but if you guys enjoyed, make sure you drop a like down below. You guys crushed yesterday, so let's try and beat that. Let's go for, say, 250 likes here. I don't usually ever ask for that kind of stuff, but I wanna see if you guys really do enjoy this. So if you guys do, make sure you drop a like. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe to stay up to date with everything we have here regarding Zombies Chronicles and everything you need to know here and we'll keep you guys posted on all that stuff so if you guys enjoyed that make sure you subscribe and finally if you guys want to follow me over on twitter that is the best place to get kicked to me here outside of youtube i practically live on twitter so if you guys want to share up a conversation ask me a question whatever it may be link is down there in the description below but i'll see you guys later thank you dude, so much for watching hopefully you guys enjoyed and hopefully you guys are having a great day my name is Nicole Espresso. take care and peace